Hi there, I'm Sam and I'm a final year biology student at Imperial College London. I'm not in London at the minute, I'm back home. This is my bedroom uh, down in Sussex. But since I've been here, I've been really struggling to maintain my productivity. I've tried to isolate a few techniques which are really, really useful to me personally and have allowed me to start getting on with my work again. And I want to share them with you. And I've split it down into three topics. Okay, the first is beating procrastination, which has become a really big problem for me uh, at the minute being back at home. Uh, the second is finding purpose in all of this. And the final is pseudo socialization. We'll just call it socialization, seeing your friends. So procrastination becomes a really big issue when you're lacking like an external schedule. I've got two strategies for how I normally beat procrastination when I'm at university. And it turns out it's worked at home as well. The first is to accept procrastination rather than just sitting there wasting time doing weird pseudo working which isn't actually achieving anything sit back and just do something else for a little bit you will find that afterwards you feel refreshed and that you can work again if you let yourself just take 30 minutes out do whatever it is you, you need to do to sort your head out you'll get it done the other element of that is there's like a weird reverse psychology thing where sometimes if i want to procrastinate and i'm just so bored of the data analysis i'm doing or whatever take a step back, five minutes later, I immediately feel guilty and I come back to my work and I can work again. So sometimes you just gotta let yourself go and just do what you need to do. The other option, if that's off the cards, if you've got something really, really important to be doing, you need to move and get a change of scenery. So when I was in, in London, I would work in my room and when that's not working for me, I'd go to the Natural History Museum and I would study uh, in the Anning Rooms. That change of scenery would immediately allow me to work. And while we can't necessarily go somewhere like the Natural History Museum or leave the house to go and work somewhere else, what you can do is just change the room where you're working. And frankly, that has exactly the same effect. The second thing I wanted to talk about, the second, not the third, the second thing I wanted to talk about was this idea of finding purpose in everything that's going on at the moment. It's really, really hard to keep on working constantly at the same thing when there's no tangible outcome. For example, when I was revising for my exams, I personally found that sitting there reading through my notes, rewriting, whatever, that doesn't work for me. But what does is teaching, or what I like to call teaching, I will stand up and I will give a lecture. And after I've given the lecture, I'd sit down in my chair or whatever in front of my whiteboard and I'd look at what I'd written on the board. Okay, this new thing I've generated, I've created, and I've linked all my ideas together. Because there's a physical product at the end of it, you know you've achieved something. And it goes in better than just sitting there writing and, and reading your notes. Another really important thing to help you maintain your purpose and productivity is to not overschedule what you're doing. There's a lot of people that like to schedule their day from the moment they wake up to the moment they go to bed. And that's all well and good, but in a situation like this, when you are constantly making sure that you're working from nine to five and then you watch some TV in the evening and you do the same thing day in, day out because there's no human interaction happening, kind of a spontaneous day friend saying, can we meet up on the weekend? Every single day seems to tend to merge into one another. And I think, at least for me, that led to me becoming quite depressed. Um, and so myself and my friends are playing D&D &D on a Wednesday uh, and a Sunday night. And that's just a little sprinkling of something that happens in the week and it breaks up the week. It breaks up the monotony of the day to day and that's really, really helped me focus on my work. And the final thing on this idea of finding purpose in an awful situation is find something new that you've always wanted to do but you've never done before. And for me here, that was, I'd always wanted to make a terrarium. This is a kilner jar, which my grandparents bought me ages ago because I said I wanted to make a terrarium. And I just ordered some plants online. I need to give it a clean. But I just thought, let's try something new. If you've always wanted to learn to knit or crochet or play the guitar, which I'm trying to learn again, now I'm finally at home and I've got my guitar with me, I just, just do it. You need to find hobbies which reward you. Take this time to better yourself and learn new things. You're not constrained by a schedule at university or work or school. Use the fact that you don't have that schedule to enjoy yourself and find things which you love doing, find new things and new topics that you love to study. And the final thing which we can do and we really need to do is what I mentioned at the top as pseudo socializing, basically socializing with one another through social media or the internet. For the sake of our mental health, we need to remain connected uh, with people, whether that's superficially just sending someone a message to say hi or calling up your family members who perhaps are scared, worried about themselves, maybe they're your grandparents, to first of all help them but also help ourselves um it's necessary for our mental health to keep talking to one another um things you can do well there's house party um myself and my girlfriend we haven't been able to see each other since this started since lockdown started 
and we started using Netflix Party, which is a sort of Google Chrome add-on, which allows you to watch Netflix with your loved ones, assuming you've all got a Netflix account. Uh, at the same time, it's just like you're watching a film on the sofa next to each other, and that's been really, really nice. Um, you can play board games online, there's a whole plethora of, of things. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons, you can use D&D Beyond, I will definitely put a link down below. It's literally free. Um, you can find the handbooks online, have a read, get some friends together, go on an adventure to a faraway place, meet some elves, dwarves, halflings, whatever. Just It helps you get away from the reality of everything that's going on right now. So that's pretty much it. Um, I hope that it's helpful to you. If you have any questions or if you're just worrying about the fact that you're not being very productive, comment down below. Everyone is feeling exactly the same way. Um, and you've just got to find a community of people that can help you uh, through this because that's what we need right now. We need community, like socially distant, socially responsible community. Hey everyone, I probably should have mentioned I'm going to be doing a few more videos like this oh. on how to make the most uh, out of the current situation, whether you're a GCSE student whose GCSEs are cancelled, uh, you're an A-level student who's about to go to university, or if you're a university student preparing for your exams. Uh, so if you are in any of those categories, please do subscribe and I will be producing a few more videos because I suddenly have loads of time on my hands.